Hello. In this video, I will demonstrate how Parasoft C++ test integrates into GitLab CI/CD pipelines. We're going to see how easy it is to create a GitLab pipeline with C++ test static analysis, how to access static analysis results in the GitLab interface, and how to download results from GitLab's pipeline to Visual Studio Code for convenient remediation. For the demonstration, I will use a GitLab account with a repository for the demo project, a Linux workstation with Parasoft C++ test, GNU GCC compiler and Visual Studio Code editor, which will serve as a development host, and a GitLab runner for executing the pipelines. During the demonstration, we're going to go through the following steps. Defining a GitLab pipeline with the C++ test static analysis, and then simulating a simple use case, which will include developer pulling the code from the repository, modifying it and pushing to GitLab. The push operation will trigger the pipeline, which will launch C++ test to perform static analysis. Static analysis results will be published and available in GitLab's interface for inspection. And developer will download GitLab's pipeline results into VS Code for convenient remediation. I will switch now to my development machine and open the browser with my GitLab account where I have my demo project. This is a timer example that is shipped with C++ test. Let me clone my repository. I will do it using VS Code. We're ready to start development now. The next thing we want to do is to configure the pipeline. For pipeline execution, we'll need a GitLab runner, which I have already configured. As you can see here, it's already running, waiting for jobs to execute, and we're ready to define our pipeline. To do so, let's switch to GitLab CI-CD section and select Editor. Here we can define a new pipeline. We'll ignore the default template and copy one of the example pipelines that are publicly available in the GitLab. Let me switch to the Parasoft's GitLab account to cpptest-gitlab project. Here you can find a lot of useful information regarding C++ test integration with GitLab, including the example pipelines. I will open now one of the pipeline examples that features static analysis and copy it to the pipeline for the demo project. Before I commit the pipeline, let's take a quick look. The pipeline includes two stages, build and test. Here you can see the CMake invocation to generate the build scripts and build the code. At this step, compile commands JSON file is generated, which will be used as an input for the static analysis. Once the code is built, static analysis is executed in the test stage using cpptest CLI interface. Here you can see the cpptest CLI invocation. The project will be scanned with the preselected configuration of static analysis checkers called recommended rules. Users can choose other preconfigured selections of checkers such as MISRA, CERT or AUTOZAR or create their own selections. Above, you can see some additional C++ test options specified to configure the analysis. One of the options enables GitLab SAS report, which will be uploaded to GitLab once the analysis finishes. We are ready to commit the pipeline now. Let's add a short comment and commit the file. Our new commit immediately triggered the pipeline. And as you can see, the build job is already in progress. And now the static analysis job is running. It will finish in a minute. When the pipeline completes, the SAS report is uploaded to GitLab and the results are presented in the security and compliance vulnerability report. Let's drill down and take a quick look. Here we can see a summary which shows the total number of violations for each criticality level. It helps developers to attack the problems starting with the most critical issues. Below we can see the list of all reported findings. 
Each violation is presented with a short summary and an ID that indicates which static analysis rule was violated. Here is a violation of the rule avoid assessing arrays out of bounds. When I click it, a more detailed view is displayed, which includes a step-by-step -step explanation of the problem. We can easily click any element of the stack trace and see problem in the context of the source code. C++ Test integration with GitLab provides a great value here. The ability to review code scanning results directly in GitLab, either in the context of a specific check-in or as a part of the merge request, streamlines the development workflows and reduces the cost of the compliance process with industry standards. In some situations, however, when remediating complex problems or working with larger batches of violations, it may be more convenient to download the findings to the IDE and continue working there. C++ Tests extension for VS Code integrates with GitLab and enables accessing pipelines results directly in the editor, which is a great productivity feature that simplifies results analysis and remediation. So let me download my pipelines results now. As you can see, now I have GitLab's pipeline results available in the problems view of my VS Code. And I'm ready to start working on these results. So let me fix one of the problems. Here we want to make sure that buffer is not the reference before checking for null. And let's say that this issue we do not consider as a problem and we want to suppress it. Let's assume that we are done for now and that we want to commit changes and push them to GitLab. Our push operation triggered the pipeline. Let's give it a minute to finish and check results. And this concludes my demonstration. We just covered how easy it is to create a GitLab pipeline with C++ test static analysis, how to access static analysis results in the GitLab interface, and how to use Parasol VS Code extension to improve productivity when working with static analysis findings. Thank you for watching.